Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today we're at this condominium unit. The homeowner would like to be more comfortable and make it more energy efficient, save money on their heating bills. Uh, there is uh, some electric heat in this unit and so we want to make it as uh, efficient as possible. So what we're going to do is air seal the attic to prevent warm air from being lost into the attic environment and, uh, and then add insulation in the attic and we're going to uh, blow in additional insulation on top of the insulation that they have once we air seal the attic. And then in the basement, uh, which is uh, fully finished, we're going to insulate uh, between the uh, existing finished basement walls and the foundation walls and sidewall uh, with foam insulation to add our value there. And uh, the basement has electric heat and the homeowner was uh, concerned about uh, the basement being too cold. Let's take a look. Now the attic is through a scuttle hole in this closet and we're going to get up there and dig through the existing insulation, find all the air leaks and seal them with one part foam and then uh, put the insulation back and add to the insulation that's there with additional blown in fiberglass to add to the R value. Uh, one thing we have to do is build a little dam around this scuttle hole so that the insulation can get deep enough without falling down the hole when somebody goes to move the hatch aside. Working in attics is no fun. We have to move the insulation aside and it's often very dried, what we call friable fiberglass insulation. As soon as you touch it, fiberglass fibers are in the air. It's an unfriendly place to be and you're trying not to fall through the ceiling. Nevertheless, we have to find all the air leaks at the uh, pipes and wire uh, openings at the top of uh, walls where drywall meets the top plates of walls, uh, around chimneys and around bathroom fans. And we have to seal all that so no air can get from the house that the homeowner paid to heat into the attic where it's lost. Once the attic is air sealed, then we can add additional insulation. In this case, we're using fiberglass, but we could use cellulose uh, either way. Here we are in the basement and the homeowner is doing a, a bit of remodeling here. And so what we're going to do is insulate uh, this wall and this wall. There's a concrete foundation behind here and a frame wall behind here. And we're going to drill holes in the wall and inject foam. It's uh, injection foam. It's like the consistency of shaving cream. And it's going to fill the bays in this wall and fill the space between this drywall and the foundation wall. So uh, it's an interesting application, but it's going to really make this wall uh, very tight, very warm. I foamed around all the electric outlets so that it didn't oh, make come out and make a mess. Oh, Open it up all the way to the sheathing. Okay. Usually we pump the foam into the walls from the outside, but this house was stucco. And this is the foundation wall here, so we couldn't go through the foundation wall. So we drilled holes in the uh, drywall, patched them, with one coat of tape and these walls are completely full of foam. It's amazing how much foam goes into a wall that's already insulated. Every basement like this one is humid in the summertime causing mold to grow and odors. The Santa Dry basement air system is the answer. It's a very high powered energy efficient dehumidifier that will remove up to 109 pints of water per day out of the air. The beautiful thing about the Santa Dry is that it's ductible. In other words, you don't have to locate it in the space that you want to dry. In this case, this basement is pretty much completely finished and the homeowner wants to serve a closet and the main finished area with the Santa Dry because there was signs of mold and odors in those rooms. But we don't want to take up valuable finished space. So what we did was we tucked the Santa Dry into this closet. The Santa Dry is located here, and the intake air comes from here, from a grill in the stairwell, comes into the top of the unit, the air is filtered, completely dried, and blown out of this hose through this duct in this wall, 
and then we're going to install some transfer grills to get the air to the other rooms. All right, it's 5.30. We've insulated and air sealed the attic. We've insulated the basement walls and installed the Santa Dry dehumidification system. If you have some rooms that are a lot colder than the others in the winter or rooms that won't cool in the summer, if you'd like to make your home more energy efficient and lower your cost of homeownership by reducing your heating and cooling bills, call Dr. Energy Saver.